Welcome to our lecture online. So what's the connection between electrical potential, electrical potential energy, and kinetic energy? Well, in a particular case, for example, where we move a charge from the negative side of a capacitor to the positive side of the capacitor, we have to do work, we have to apply a force, and we have to push that charge across to the other side against the force of the electric field. And so therefore the work done is equal to the force times distance and the force on the charge in an electric field is E times Q. So EQD gives you then, when we move to the other side, the work done to get the charge there, what is the potential energy given to that charge? Now what happens when we let go? Well, when we let go, the electric field will then push the charge back to the other side. It will lose potential energy and gain kinetic energy. Just the same as if you were to drop an object, it falls to the floor, so it loses potential energy and it gains kinetic energy. And just before it hits the floor or just before it hits the other side of the capacitor, that capacitor plate, how fast will it be moving? And so we use the equation where the initial potential energy will then turn into final kinetic energy. So the initial potential energy will equal one half mv squared. And we're trying to find that v, that final v before it hits the target. So when we solve this equation for v, we get the square root of two times the potential energy divided by the mass. Let's say that the mass is five grams, as defined by the drawing there. And since the uh, since the electric field strength was 20,000 volts per meter and the distance between the plates was 10 centimeters, we were able then to calculate the potential energy gained simply by multiplying E times Q times D. And that then becomes the potential energy, which is 0 0.008 joules. We work it out and we get 1.79 meters per second. So that is the connection between gravity the gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy you, you get from, from an object falling back to the ground. Here, you give it electrical potential energy by pushing it to the other side, you let go, it then gains kinetic energy and gains speed as it goes to the other side. The connection is right there, and that is how it's done using the, gravi not the gravitational, but the electrical potential energy.